Hey, hey everybody. Uh, so we are going to do a quick screen screen capture so you can see how to go get your Facebook archive because that's the result that you're going to achieve. So I'm going to start by just opening a new window in Safari. You could use uh, Google Chrome or Firefox or if you um, have a Windows computer, of course, you could use Internet Explorer. So I'm just going to open a new window. And uh, here's my new window. I'm just going to make that full screen real quick. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and type in Facebook. If you're like me, you know you've probably already uh, logged into it. So let me just get rid of my message there. Okay, so now that you're on uh, Facebook here, okay, oops, didn't mean to click that. I'm just trying to get rid of my, uh, my all my notifications. Well, hey, look at that, I guess. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, if, here's what we're going to do. So in order to download your archive from Facebook, not a lot of people know that you actually have the ability to go in and download everything that's ever happened on your Facebook, and you can actually keep a record of it. So I'm going to walk you through kind of how that process works, at least part one of that process, which is what you're required to do today if you want to achieve your results. So first of all, you're going to come over here to this uh, kind of your settings area, and you're going to click that little arrow. Now this shows some of my pages and this just shows some other things that I could do on Facebook. You're gonna go to settings, okay? As Soon as you click on settings, it's gonna bring up this page. So this is showing me, you know, just what I know about my Facebook page. Look what's right here. Download a copy of your Facebook data. So you're gonna click on that link and when you click on that link, it's gonna give you some information. It's gonna say, here's how you download your information. This is a copy of your personal information that you shared on Facebook. So to protect your info, we're going to ask you to re-enter your password make sure it's you. So as soon as you hit that down, download archive button, you're going to have to enter your password, whatever that is. So I'm entering my password right now, and I'm going to hit submit. As soon as I do that, um, it's going to uh, start a download. Now that's because I already um, entered my information yesterday uh, to begin my download. Typically, as soon as you hit download archive, it's going to step by step walk you through and it's going to say, okay, uh, Facebook is, I'm actually going to stop my download right now because I don't need to re-download it all. There's a lot of information that's there. But what Facebook generally would do after you hit download archive and enter your information, it's going to say, perfect, we're going to begin putting your file together. We will send you an email once it's ready. So uh, let me go over to my email real quick and I'm going to show you what that email looks like when it's ready. Okay, um, so let me go and find it. All right, so this is the email that I got sent to me last night when I went and redid this, and it sends you this thing, and it says you recently requested a copy of your Facebook data. It's ready for you. If I click this button, what it's gonna do, or not click that link, it's gonna take me back to this page, and it's gonna let me hit the button one more time, and I'll actually be able to physically download my Facebook information. Now there's a couple other steps after you download the information and we'll go over that um, in the next day or two, but at least that could get you started to request your download archive of Facebook because we're gonna use that in a day or two. All right guys, thanks.